<laughs> no, <laughs> it's, it's, it's definitely um, it's an adjusting type of thing. You got to adjust to it. But, um, you know, obviously I'm from St. Louis and played in Kansas City, so it's a little bit of humidity out there. Obviously, nothing like this. But, um, you know, I, I'm kind of getting used to it, um, getting conditioned to be, a, be able to play in these elements. You know what I'm saying? So, um, you know, you got to – it's weird. You got to kind of condition differently for different teams. You know what I'm saying? So, um, and out here I've been – getting into it, you know, getting more and more, getting my feet on, um, up under me. And, um, yeah, I'm feeling good. I'm, I'm feeling good, feeling lean, probably the lightest I've been since I've been in the NFL. So it's, it's I feel really nice. What are you playing at now? Uh, I am down. I, I'm fluctuating between about 315 and 318 right now. And so that's my my optimum weight is I want to be there. And, and it was hard for me to get there in Kansas City, but out here it just fall off. So <laughs> so I feel, I, like I said, that's the best I felt in, in, in my whole pro professional career. You had mentioned in your introductory press conference that you were excited to be with an attacking defense or a defensive line that likes to attack Absolutely. in the system. Does that weight shift kind of help with that? And how has that been in practice? Absolutely. It, it, the faster you can move, the better. And um, obviously, you know, shedding a little bit of weight is going to help you move faster and uh, get the tens tension off those joints, everything. So. Um, yeah, that, that, that attack and play style is definitely held true. Um, Coach DA, he got, man, he got he got a great scheme out there. Um, it, it allows us to get downhill, and um, yeah, man, I, I think the same thing I said in the when I first got here is is held true. Is that I love I like the defense a lot. You know, a lot of athleticism involved, and that's my thing. You know, I like, you know, you got your play styles, and my play style is athleticism. I, you know, I use power, but I'm at, uh, athletic as you know a, a nose guard, so I like to use it a lot, and I feel like DA's defense helps us do that. Is there something specific about the defense that's, that that fit works for you? Is it just about the mentality? It's just the mentality, honestly. Um, I mean, you know, at the end of the day, you call the play and you execute it. Where All 32 teams do that. And so it's really a mentality. I mean, this defense has been a top defense for years and years. Um, having the confidence of D, uh, Double D behind me and, you know, Pete behind me and guys like that, Cam next to me, like, you know, it's just those those type of factors that help you play freely as well, and I feel like that contributes um, to that attack and defense. How much how much of a factor is like chemistry and communication on, on the line between like you and the ends and just you know yeah. being able to do different things? Oh, it's huge. Um, it's 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 very primary. You know, you gotta you gotta have that cohesion along the D line because if you don't, then rush lanes get distorted, distorted, then you know all things can go wrong you gotta especially if you got a mobile quarterback it's even worse because it gets exploited that much quicker so you got to be in, in you know in unison like if i if i know who i'm playing with i know i got a guy who likes to make inside moves i got to be conscious of that because then i can't make inside moves because then we letting the whole edge free so it's just stuff like that you have to be in unison and these are the times that we're getting that um cohesion Cam mentioned the other day there was a play like where he kind of looked at you and you guys were just yeah. like on the same page yeah. and able to make an adjustment. Like, yeah. how, how do you how do you build that? Is that just on the field? Is it conversations off the field? Is it watching film and going over different details and stuff? Yeah, it's it's a little bit of it's a combination of everything. Um, obviously, being communicative, like telling him, "Hey, you got me here. You know, I, I like to rap. I'm I'm faster than because you know you you got to judge. You got to find out what your teammates' talents are." You know, you got guys who got 100 sacks off speed rushes. You got guys who got 100 sacks off power rushes. So you got to kind of figure that out. And I have to let my teammates know, hey, you know, you got your power noses, sitting there noses, you know, like I would say Linval Joseph, um, you know, guys like that. And then you got more kind of athletic, can play a little three, quick moving, like Kenny Clark, people like that. So I think that, um, you know, I try and get my play style to that athletic moving around. And uh, yeah, that, that kind of contributes to that as far as, you know, me and him communicating, telling him, hey, I got that. Like, I can do that. I can rap you. And so that's where that look comes from. What, that was the conversation is, I can do it. And then the look comes when it's like, this is a situation we're doing it. And, you know, the look come and then we, we own. So that's that, you know, just togetherness that I talked about. So like, are you studying your own teammates so you can have those conversations at like a high level? Absolutely. You have like, being on a new team, you know, obviously I'm trying to learn the playbook, but learning my teammates is just important. You know, uh, obviously, if you got to know who you're in with, you got to know their moves, know what type of rushes they like. Like, you know, if you got to, because I'm playing nose a lot. So if I got a three tech that like rushing high or rushing outside, I got to know that. If I got a guy who likes coming inside, I got to know, I got to be ready to balance that up for him. Because at the end of the day, they're the primary rusher and I'm the cover guy. So, you know, that's just something you got to learn. So you kind of got to have like a selfless mentality. In yeah, like absolutely. This is the most team sport there is, man. It's, it's, a, it's the greatest team sport in, in, in the world. So. Definitely got to have a selfless mindset. Caleb, I have a question. Is, is there a good comp for Cam? Are there, are there
there many guys who combine sort of the, the elements he combines? A good comp for Cam is Cam. <laughs> he, he, won, he won of one. He's him. Like, it's, there's no, you know, comp. People get comped to him. <laughs> so <laughs> Cam's comp is Cam. <laughs> there's, I don't think there's a, a comp. You know, I mean, unless you're talking about the greats and, and Deegan Jones and all of them, like, there's no comp for Cam. He's he's Cam. But I even mean from a style standpoint, are there a lot of guys who, who play that position the same way where he's not really a power guy or a speed guy? Yeah, yeah. Callie Campbell almost comes to yeah. mind. He's an interior guy. Yeah, uh, I think one of the guys I play with that kind of reminds me of his play style is uh, Emmanuel Ogba. He, he's one of those guys who's, like, not going to speed all the time, not going to power all the time, but can do both. So. You know, he got both of them in his bag. So, um, but that's just somebody I play with. But, um, yeah, I think, you know, just those kind of bigger ends that got that speed and power, I think that's kind of um, a comparison you can make to, for Cam. Kalen, how, how important it is when you got the pass on to set the tone of the inside drill? You know, the running drills man to man and, and to, to set the tone that, hey, uh, we're going to be a run stopping team. Absolutely. That, that uh, I mean, you know, obviously I'm going to offer some pass rush, but primarily that's what I feel like I was brought here for. So if we don't got a good run defense, I take it personally. And, um, you know, just kind of preaching that, you got a guy like Roach who is, you know, man, he's a pro's pro. and He's only in, what, year three, four or something like that. So, um, you know, like all those guys, man, they bring the energy every day and it's easy to feed off of. And then when you, got, when you get to those periods, it's like, all right, let's just keep bringing that energy. You know what I'm saying? It's not any shift. It's not like, oh, we need to step it up. It's just we don't care if it's run, pass. We want to be the energy setters regardless. And, you know, I think that, like I said, I'm going to take pride in that run this year, man. I, don't, I, I started a little thing in KC called Run Nation, Stuff Nation, whatever you want to call it, and I'm bringing it here too for sure. And when you talk about setting question. your teammates, do you think that's something that all defensive tackles do or do you think it's something that you're, you're I probably? think it's something that all professionals should do. Um, I mean, D-tackle – receiver, quarterback, you got to study your players. You know, receivers got to study their quarterback, same vice versa. Um, and same thing with um, quarterbacks got to study their line because you got to know. Well, you got to know if you got a guy who is quick on his feet as a tackle and he's going to let you allow you to step up in the pocket or if he's going to get beat inside, that's fine if you know that because he, you can roll out. So it's just I feel like it's you got to study as a to work good as a unit regardless, regardless if that's football, if that's basketball, if that's any any team sport, you have to know your teammates. Because imagine if we're playing basketball, you on the three point line, I kick it to you, you ain't made a three all year. I got if I did if I knew you had a three point shoot, I wouldn't pass you that. So you just got to study your teammates.